The restaurant that gave me childhood trauma, that restaurant. Yeah. Let's do me! Which 20 should I pick up first? <laughs> so here's our pantry, you guys. Good morning, mommy. <laughs> Careful, careful, baby. Go. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Ready for New York? My baby. My last time we went to New York was seven, eight. I don't know. I know. No, no. Told them. We drove too. Twelve hours. It was yeah. twelve. No, we. We went I went, another time. I went once. once with Baba and Yas and Yas's friend. You didn't come with us. Why? I don't know. You were at restaurant. Remember? Like yeah. stupid restaurant. <laughs> that's a stupid restaurant. <laughs> okay, mommy. The, the restaurant that gave me childhood trauma, that restaurant. Yeah. Well, taking my bag for me. Thank you, mama. <laughs> we can do bag drop. Yeah, I, I paid for it already. Hi, mommy. Hi. <laughs> Guys, I'm so done with my mom taking my bag. She's like, I got it. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Hi, Hi Jadu. Okay, okay, give me five. We go near your house. Oh, let me get you guys. Yeah, give me five. No, no, no. no. Put your hand here. No. And Mommy. Yeah. What, are you embarrassed? Kick it. He's too cool now. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello from New York. Hello. I didn't even get to show you guys the room before we, we made it all we messy. Light. I'll show them. Yeah, we got in light. Hi. Where I'll are we going, you. Kay? Tell them, tell them where we're going first. We're going to shine, Daddy! Not, not shine, Kay, his brother, Savior. Uh, sa we're going to save your party! <laughs> yes. Yeah, Uber's outside, Kay, Kay, come on. Hi. Let's go find the Uber. Good morning from New York. Bye. Okay, our Uber's here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me see, Kay, let me see. Yeah, Kay, look. Let me get a picture of you. Let me see my moochie, let me see my moochie. 
her nightgown. How do I disconnect my headphones? I let me see that boy. Look at my mooch in the back in her nightgown. Hey, good morning. Tell mommy good morning. Good morning, mommy. <laughs> oh, no. What's up, guys? It's New York day two. Well, it's our second full day because we landed at midnight when we did come. But this morning, I actually had a meeting scheduled for this morning that ended up getting canceled. So I was up pretty early. I got all ready and honestly worked out for the best because I was able to get like all my work done for the day by the time my family was up and done getting ready. Uh, we've been going to sleep pretty late and waking up pretty late. Well, my family has. I've been getting up early. But my family's been waking up at like 11-ish, which is like 8 a.m. LA time. Um, just because, again, the time zone difference, like we don't even get tired until like 1, 2 a.m., um but yeah guys i got up i went downstairs to the lobby got all my work done my family now they went to a coffee shop around the corner i'm about to come up and like bring my laptop upstairs and stuff and now we're gonna head out to the city so guys honestly if i brought some cute outfits for like my meetings but being here with my family we walk so much in the city yesterday guys my dad and i literally walked five almost five miles um Kayvon and my mom walked half of it with us and then obviously Kayvon got tired so my mom and him we just put him in a taxi and then came back to the hotel but my dad and I literally walked like five miles yesterday so I'm just in sneakers workout leggings um I'm getting my steps in that's for sure that's one thing I love about New York also I didn't even mention the hotel that we're staying at so we're staying at the Gainesvore hotel it was so hard for me to say it at first I was like Gainesvore root but it's pronounced Gainesvore it's such a nice location you guys we're so sensitive Central. we're in like the bougie part of the area like catch is right across the street the restaurant sephora right across the street rolex restoration hardware like all of those stores is right here um so it's in the meatpacking district but yeah it's like 1 p.m at this point so we're about to walk over and get some lunch i'm gonna leave my camera in the hotel just so i don't have to deal with lugging this everywhere but yeah guys let's go on another adventure KK. Slime tour. Slime tour. Slime museum. KK, let me see your slime. KK, what's your slime name? Kubu. Kubun. Kubun. And Baba's Ulu. Okay, guys, have fun. You have your phone, Baba? Okay. Too bright of a light. Isn't my dress cute, y'all? I bought it yesterday from. Oak and Fort. So cute. Hi, everybody. We are in New York with Nazi. Baba is walking me to my meeting. Guys, Baba and I will talk. Like I said, we've been walking a ton. Yesterday, we walked nine miles. Yeah. Nine miles. No, we did more than you. Nine. Yeah, because Mama and uh, Baba still walked after I stayed home with KK. Hi guys, today we're going to California. Oh my goodness, on tables. Hi, baby. Yeah. Oh, you want me to catch you? Hold on, hold on. KK, I want to cuddle. And do me. Don't do that, mommy. Hey, stop jumping off the uh, thing, please. Bro, we were just getting it. You did when I was in New York. You went to New York? Yeah. And then you got home late? 
And then Daddy had to work and I went up. What is this guy saying? You know what? I kind of want to put him some yogurt, so I need to re. This needs to go on this side. KK had pizza for lunch and there was a few leftover pieces. So might as well just give them to the babies. It's a little bit. Hi, twinnies. Which twinny should I pick up first? Muchi? guys have potato, pizza, strawberry, and yogurt. Oh, pizza. Pizza. Oh, pizza. Kaka, okay, where's your pizza? Yogurt. Let me see pizza. Yogurt. Yogurt? These babies love yogurt. Would you eat any of your yogurt? Yeah. Uh oh. Would you spilled her yogurt? It's okay. What's up, you guys? As y'all can see, we are back in LA. New York was so fun. It was very short. I think we were there for five days total, and that's counting our travel days. Um, but overall, it was just really fun. We all love New York. KK loves New York. My parents love New York. Um, you guys know, like I said, my parents love to walk, so they love the walkability of New York. So it was just so fun to just like spend some one-on-one -on -one time with them. Um, you guys saw we initially went for Savior's birthday, and then also to like see my friends and stuff. And then I did have some meetings. I don't know if I vlogged. I didn't vlog at the meetings, but I met with um, Super Goop, and then I also met with Estee Lauder. And I actually came home to Estee Lauder sending me a bunch of goodies, which I'll show you guys in a second. But yeah, the girls from the team were so amazing so I had such a good time and now we are back in LA and back to business I actually just got a package in the mail from factor literally perfect timing you guys know I love factor so so much it's fresh never frozen meals delivered straight to your door please pray I don't drop everything I already popped everything in the fridge but you guys know we love factor so so much so they're actually owned by hello fresh and you guys know we love hello fresh so much in this house so just to have the meals ready to go in your fridge is such a game changer so no matter what your goals are whether your goal is to stop eating out as much stop ordering takeout and uber eats and postmates and all that stuff or if you just have certain goals like you want to hit certain macros i love factor for so many reasons so on the back of all the packaging it has the macros so you have the calories the protein the carbs so it's just really easy to track for me i find the best way to stay on track is to just have everything ready to go so whether that's having my meals prepped and ready to go um having my outfit for my workout just laid out the night before having my water bottle filled up the night before there's so many steps that you can take that can help you achieve success so just small little habits here and there really do just make a huge impact so i love factor like i mentioned they have a ton of different plans they have keto they have veggie they have calorie smart protein plus they have so many different plans for you guys on their website and they're constantly updating their menus guys they have some of the most delicious meals i've ever tried okay let me show you guys some of the ones that i got for this week we have a peanut buddha bowl i've actually never tried this one that looks so good i'm sure this is one of the vegetarian ones yeah, this is a peanut Buddha bowl. Ooh, this one's one of my favorites, sun-dried tomato chicken. I might eat that one today. We have creamy Parmesan chicken with broccoli and tomatoes. Also have Indian butter chicken, another one that I've tried. Really delicious. Turkey chili and zucchini. And then what's this one? 
tomato goat cheese cavatappi. So again, it's summertime. We're not trying to sit in the kitchen all day and cook. Like we want to go out and do things, have fun. So that's why I love just having my lunch ready to go in the fridge. I've been working all day. You guys can see I have my makeup on. I was just filming some content. So like literally I just landed last night and it's like back to work. So I'm hungry, I need a little lunch break, and to have my meal just ready to go in the fridge is beautiful. I also got a huge pack of juices from Factor. So they have a lot more than just meals, guys. They have like breakfast, they have juices, smoothies, so definitely check out their website, which I'll have linked down below for you guys. But this is their mango smoothie. I kinda want one right now. I love their smoothies, guys. They're like coconut milk based, so they're really delicious. So yeah, this is the mango one. I'll take a tropical starburst and put it in a drink. That's what this tastes like. But yeah, I also got a pack of their juice. So we have pineapple, turmeric, basil, carrot, orange, ginger, apple, and beet, apple, kale, and wheatgrass. So these will be great for the week as well. Okay, which one should I go with today? I've had this one before. I've had the turkey chili before. Creamy Parmesan chicken sounds good and the sun-dried tomato chicken. You know what? I've had the sun-dried tomato chicken before. I'm gonna try the vegetarian one, the peanut butter bowl. Let's try this one. So guys, it's literally so easy to heat up. You can either use your microwave, pop it in the microwave for two minutes, or I like to use my toaster oven just so it can get a little like crispy at the top. Here's our peanut butter bowl, you guys. It looks so good. You guys saw it came with like this peanut sauce. Mm. Wow, guys, that's so good. You guys know I always got to hook you guys up with a code, and this one is so good. So you guys can actually head to factor75.com or click my link down below and use my code Kavari50 to get 50% off your first box, and then you get 20% off that next month's box. So to get 50% off your first box and then another 20% off your next box, make sure you guys head to factor75.com or use my code Kavari50 linked down below and get your hands on some factors. So definitely is a game changer. If y'all are like, I'm so done ordering out and all that stuff, you need to try out factor. I just came home from Pilates. Well, a minute ago, I'm not gonna lie. I had some content to finish up, but Mel and I are finally going to tackle. I'll show you guys when I go over there. Our pantry. So as you guys know, we got our pantry remodeled. So we've just been putting off, like putting everything back in the pantry. So we're finally gonna do that today. Today is the day, you guys. We're finally redoing this pantry. I feel like since we moved in to this house, I've been wanting to redo this pantry. And we're finally doing it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. I think I got some clips on my phone with everything in it. So you guys can see truly how cluttered and how crazy it looked. My thing is I wanted like drawers, I wanted cabinets. Um, I wanted things to be more hidden instead of everything being out. So yeah, I'm gonna insert some clips of how it looked with everything in there. But I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now, completely empty. We have everything that was in our pantry, all in our dining room right now. This is what it looks like right now. So as you can see, this is just like your builder grade pantry. There's no drawers, there's none of that. So it was just so hard to keep everything organized. Like everything is just out and you can only make it look so clean because like, you know, at the end of the day, we have three kids. We actually live in this house. So it's not gonna look like a magazine, um, you know, pantry. But I walked downstairs to a whole another set of chaos. Are you guys ready? KK, what is this? What is this? You're finding your cars? Yeah. Guys, by the way, KK got these new pants. Our neighbors brought him a gift. And KK got himself dressed. But KK, you know there's still the tag on your pants, right? Yeah. Not KK casually wearing Hugo Boss pants. KK, come tell guys why you took out all the toys. They are on the fight new car. New cars? Yeah, new cars. I don't want this car. You promised me you're gonna put everything back, right? Yeah. Pinky swear? Look at me and say, I swear, mommy. I swear, mommy. Okay, because I better not see this before you go to sleep. So our pantry is currently all over our dining room. And it's not just this, you guys. Are you ready? The floor. The floor is mostly like appliances and stuff. And then we also got some stuff over here. So this area of our house has just been a whole mess. 
Okay, let me show you guys the pantry. By the way, I've showed you guys this before, but this is a fingerprint opener, like lock thing for the um, pantry. That was a huge problem for us. Like our kids would run into the pantry, grab stuff, make a mess in there. Um, so highly recommend that if you have kids. So let me unlock it. You can also put a code, see? You can also put a code. So here's our pantry, you guys. It looks so good. So you guys know we had no cabinets, no drawers. See, now we have drawers and then our cabinets. We have two of them. Here's one. And guys, this is one thing we actually had them come back because the cabinets at first were the type like they would slam shut. So I told them I want soft close cabinets. So they added that so you guys can see it doesn't slam anymore. Here's the other one we have over here. So we made this one without any shelves for our, like broom or Swiffer so that can stay hidden. We have drawers on this side as well. Why is that sticking out? But yeah, we have drawers on this side as well. So we have one outlet over here. We actually want to add some outlets over here for this countertop. But guys, this is the one thing that's really bothering Mel and I. We had them come try to fix it and they did not fix it. So we need to call, we need to call the manager y'all. But this bottom shelf looks awful. I don't like this crack at all. Cause see, these don't have it. So I don't see why that one needs to have the crack. This one doesn't either. I don't, I don't understand how this was fixing it. Like, what is this? My problem is this would stick out a lot. You see how it's not um, lined up? Like guys, for the amount of money we paid, that was actually the same on this side as well. Like for the amount of money we paid, that is unacceptable. Um, but yeah, this was sticking out as well. But I don't understand like this whole double layer thing. It just, it does not make sense to me. It just, it doesn't look good. I don't know. We have some shelves on this side as well. One thing with this pantry though, guys, they left it with, what was that, Mel, like that was on the wall, what's that called? Not, yeah, it was just patches on the wall. We're gonna insert a picture, but I thought we had to hire someone to come smooth out the wall, but Mel actually did it himself. I'm very impressed. Good job, babe. Yeah. Real dad now. Yeah, Mel was spending his Saturday mornings at Home Depot. But yeah, it looks really good. As you can see, I started kind of putting things back. I have some things in the drawers as well. This is all just like medicine, um, just because I was really tired of seeing the mess out there. But we're gonna start putting everything back. I ordered some stuff from Amazon for the organization. I got another one of those Lazy Susan organizers. I got, I'll be baby screaming about, I got an organizer for the cans. So I got this. Um, like soda cans, not like actual cans. This one is for like soda cans. And then I've got an organizer for just regular canned goods. You can use this for multiple stuff. Um, I'm going to use this specifically for our canned food. This is what it looks like. I'll link all of this stuff in my Amazon storefront for you guys. Some of our cabinets in here, like our cabinet for our tea mugs, like our coffee mugs, and then also our cabinet for um tupperware is super chaotic so i actually found these shelves that you can put in the cabinet to give you some more space so you guys can see you can like put stuff on top you can put stuff underneath to make more space i got some of these organizers as well just like little trays i might not put these in the pantry but i'll save this for i needed some more in my beauty room and stuff so yeah, I think that's all the organization I got. So this Lazy Susan we already had. I actually have a few of these in the fridge as well. So I just picked up another one. So this overhead light, not it. But yeah, terrible. Um, but I'm gonna give you guys like a quick rundown of how I wanna organize everything. So yeah, this cabinet, because it has no shelf, this is gonna be for like the broom and stuff like that. We have a lot of like cleaning supplies that were always just scattered around our pantry and I hated it. So it's gonna go in there. Um, we actually want to also get an outlet put in here for our time co so you know that like one vacuum mop thing we want to get an outlet in here so we can just charge in the cabinet and we don't have to keep it separate um here i'm going to put more like nice things that i don't care to be out like for example the lazy susan looks nice so i might just put like all the lazy susans over here just anything that looks nice um mel and i were thinking because this has an outlet maybe to move our coffee maker in here um just so it can stop being like on the counter. I don't know. We have to kind of like figure it out. This again, we have drawers right here. The top is for medicine. This has some more like vitamins and medicine in it right now, but I might switch it up. And then at the bottom here, we have um, 
I'm going to put all the kids' wipes. Like, we always have, like, a ton of these wipes. So I'm going to put, like, wipes in here. Maybe, like, I don't know. I don't know what else I want to put in there. I just kind of have to, like, figure it out. Um, we have these wire baskets over here already, which I think look really nice. So just keeping that organized. Um, I don't know what I want in these drawers. All the eyesores are going to go in the drawer and the cabinet. I mean, you're going in there, too? This area right here is pretty hidden as well, especially because it goes all the way to the back. Oh, I put that little um, storage thing I showed you guys. So it's expandable, so you can make it bigger. So I have it out like this. I'm sure once I put stuff on it, it's gonna like press it down and look a little better. But I'm thinking of putting like some more cleaning supplies in here. Uh, most of it is underneath our kitchen sink, but we have some stuff like maybe like paper towels, toilet paper, like we have like bleach and stuff. See this stuff, it's gonna go on the cabinet. I feel like I'm thinking too hard about where I'm putting everything. I just, I don't even know. Okay, you guys, let me show y'all how the pantry looks now. It's not 100% perfect, but it looks so much better than what it used to look like. You guys saw those um, before clips. Yes, baby. You guys saw those before clips. You guys saw those before clips. It was very chaotic in here. Yes, I want candy. Okay, he says he wants candy. Um, but yeah, it was so chaotic. I honestly forgot how chaotic it was in here. So... Let me show you guys how I decided to organize it. Again, guys, it's not gonna look like those Pinterest-worthy pantries because, again, we like genuinely live here and we use it. So, as you guys can see, I have the extra Lazy Susan. So we have these two now. I just had one, but now we have two right here, one right here. I actually just got in PR a bunch of these Osmo-infused oils. We have our toaster here for now, but I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it there. Um, we have all of our, we're like really into Waterloo's right now. We have all of them up here. And these are those can um, organizers I showed you guys from Amazon. Those wire baskets, again, we had those in our previous pantry as well. And then here I just put stuff that are like not as cute, but they're kind of hidden. Like when you open the door, you don't really see it. It's more so to the side. Um, the drawers, again, the drawers aren't like perfectly organized. I have my teas right here. Um, what's in this one? This is like electrolytes. We have like napkins and forks and stuff. This bottom one is like our rice cooker, blender, stuff like that. And then you guys saw me organize the cans in this cabinet. So yeah, this looks really good. We have seasonings right there, cleaning supplies, extra lunch boxes. Overall, I'm just really happy with how it looks. So much better than before. I don't know what to do about down here. But we will figure something out. Where are we going, babies? What are we getting? Oh, ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. This right here is my favorite flavor. Did you eat her yogurt? What flavor did you get the babies? There's cookies and cream in here. Like a caramel flavor and passion fruit. Oh my goodness, look at Kyle. He says, I want chocolate. I got a little kid order. Honestly, it's not good. Coconut yogurt, Oreos, and some hot fudge. I want chocolate. Want chocolate? Here's chocolate. I want chocolate. Here, here, here. Want chocolate. My ice cream's like melted already. Uh, the fudge comes out hot. Oh, yeah. 
Yo, I totally forgot. Yasmin taught me the hack when you get hot fudge. You get it on the side. I just remember she always does that. She gets like a little side of hot fudge. Because it melted my ice cream like immediately. Like I'm literally basically drinking a milkshake over here. Thank you. Hello guys. Let me take my probiotic before I forget. You guys are wondering, I take seed. So I take two capsules a night. I just prefer to take it at night because it's easy for me. I keep it in my nightstand so I don't forget. I still need to drink my tea too. Yeah guys, I'm ending off today's vlog. Like I mentioned y'all, I did not sleep well at all last night. Let me show you my ring camera, my ring camera, my aura ring. Hold on, let me show you guys what it shows for my sleep. The highest score you can get is 100. I scored a 55. As you can see, my sleep was pretty efficient. Can you guys read that? I can't really see the screen. I literally slept for like four hours. And I already have not been sleeping well. Yeah, guys, life has been on X Games mode like I mentioned previously. I feel like I've been mentioning that in my previous videos. But I just want to say that to say that I am planning for a break in July. I realized, I'm like, oh my God, we're six months into the year. You guys know for content creators, the end of the year gets so busy. And not only that, like does it naturally get busy, but it's also Mel's birthday, my birthday, my mom's birthday, the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of that. Like that's all in the second half of the year. So I was like, y'all, I'm already feeling so burnt out and so behind that I'm like, I can't go into the second half of the year feeling this way. So July is definitely going to be a month of resting and recharging. I'm actually going to do a whole sit down video talking about that. But yeah, guys, I want to travel like pretty much the whole month of July. I want to travel. So yeah, I'm trying to make moves now to be able to do that. And I'm really looking forward to it, you guys. I have not taken off in such a long time. But again, it doesn't feel like a heavy burden to me because you guys know like I love what I do. Um, I didn't technically take a maternity leave with either of my pregnancies or like after I gave birth, I continued to film and work throughout that. So I truly have not taken like a long break. And even if it might seem like I might have taken like a week or two off YouTube, like I was still working behind the scenes, whether that was like filming or editing or working on a different project. Like I never stopped working, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it's just been a lot. Like I've been working on so many fun things. So I'm like, for me to pour this like energy into like this good energy into myself, my work, my kids, there needs to be some downtime. We all need to take a breather. And I think the month of July is going to be that for me. And Yasmin's birthday is in July. So obviously I want to go to Miami and see her for that. So that's going to be like part of my traveling. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. And then we'll like switch up the vlogs. You guys saw we went to New York in this vlog. So I think that's going to be like fun too. Do you guys like travel vlogs? Let me know. Um, I like watching them, but I know some people like more homey vlogs, like you just doing your daily routine. So let me know down below. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you all check out Factor in the description box down below. And I'll see you again for our next upload. Bye, guys.